It was over a year ago that the rift between Father Paul Govkin and Archbishop Anthony Aperon first began, which led to his removal as the head of Santa Barbara Church in Dededo. I don't really see it as persecution. I mean, I, I just see there are a few uh, partialities going on in the Archdiocese, but I don't let that bother me. I, I didn't sign up for any of that stuff. I signed up to be a priest, and a, a priest to serve the people. And as long as he allows me to serve the people, I'm happy. I don't have to be a pastor. I don't have to be anybody in the hierarchy. I just want to be a priest. And I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm actually satisfied with the life I'm living now. As we reported, Archbishop Aperon alleged that Gulfigan failed to follow a directive warranting his removal. And while Gulfigan says he is content with the life he is living now, in the recent months, a close friend of his, John Tovis, has taken on Gulfigan's fight. I didn't uh, ask him to do anything. He's a, as I said, he's a really good friend of Monsignor and myself. And I, I, it, this is something that he feels deep down in his heart, in his heart that he has to, has to do. And he, he's sort of acting on that. Making that, making a, making something you know, to sort of raise, raise awareness, the level of awareness of what's going on, especially in our island church. As you may recall, at the onset of his removal, Gulfigan filed an appeal for hierarchical recourse and review of his case with Rome, where it is still pending. It is so difficult to you know, to be in contact with Rome, and you sort of uh, don't get any responses. Even though I've written letters, I just don't have any responses. Either, either, even from my, uh, my lawyer. I'm trying to get in contact with my lawyer. At this so point, really Govigan says it's just a waiting game. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.